and I was hot. You feel me? The homie did some bullshit. We don't get down like that in the land. You feel me? I'm, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. You feel me? You I was that, hot. You referring to the the, uh, the performance in the just ring? The perform, just the performance mm -hmm. at, it, from from they from they side and our side, gang. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. A nigga a, a nigga there to put on. You feel me? If if you repping the land, you feel, I'm I'm from the pack, gang. You feel me? And if you repping the land like you say you repping the land, bro, like you got to rep the land, nigga. Right. You feel me? Right. Like it was an embarrassment to me, cuz. Right. Right. And the set it, as a whole. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Okay, I'm back with another one, y'all. And I just saw this. So I'm trying to put two and two together. I'm like, okay, he must have saw that video of this guy saying this. For him to get out here and say all the shit he said earlier from the video that I posted earlier about a rematch, he had to have, he had to hear this shit. And that's probably why he got out here saying that shit. Damn. And it is. He can't get mad at nobody um, for telling the fucking truth. It was an embarrassment. Hell, I don't even know the motherfucker. And uh, shit, hell, I was embarrassed for him. Hell, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn. Because like I said in the other video, this just not about him. He known, you know, uh, he, he's known uh, out here as, you know, this thug ass gang, you know, gang member and shit. You know, and again, not only that. This nigga out here, you know what I'm saying, selling wolf tickets, talking about what he going to do to niggas. I mean, every other sin. He not just out here just doing his little commentary, you know what I'm saying, on something, you know, just talking about how he feel about the situation. This nigga uh, will, will go deeper and just start talking about, yeah, man, I'll sock the shit out of that motherfucker. Yeah, that nigga, yeah. You know, like, you, why you got to add all that in there? So if you want to add all that up in there and go all the way extra out and shit, then for you to willingly take this song and do what you did, it is an embarrassment. It really is. Because he willingly went in the motherfucking ring. You know what I'm saying? He willingly took up that motherfucking offer. So this wasn't no motherfucking, oh, it was an accident or they caught me off guard type shit. Nigga, you willingly chose to go and do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Then you willingly chose to look the way you was looking and embarrass your motherfucking self. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody talking about California and shit got us looking some type of way. So imagine his hood and shit. Imagine how they feeling. I saw another video of this same thing where the guy was talking about he should get DP. But I don't know why I can't find that video unless they cut that part out. But they were saying this same guy was telling Spider Lope that Nina boy need to be DP. They need to DP his ass. And then he started talking about, you know, uh, how embarrassed they are, you know, just as a whole. So I don't know why I can't find that one. But yeah, Nina boy must have heard this shit. He had to to come out here and do that video because he was all you could just tell he it was bugging him. Damn, that's crazy. And then people sitting there getting mad at this shit like something wrong with us. Like, is you serious? Like, come on now. Like, really? Stop. Nigga, even you said you willingly didn't do your best. So you saying and admitting that you didn't do your best is saying that you willingly chose not to. You, know, you willingly. You, you saying all this shit, nigga. You admitting that you you you're telling us that that's what it was. Now all the excuses that come after that, now that ain't on us. That you should we don't give a fuck about none of that. It's not like that you get a pass because oh they didn't give you no money. Then you come up with the worst excuse in the world as far as cause they didn't give me no motherfucking money. Now had his ass been like oh cause you know all of a sudden I felt like my ankle broke and you know what I'm saying we seen his ankle swelling up and shit like oh you know what I'm saying that's why that nigga still was trying to fight though you know what I'm saying with a swollen ankle and shit. Then we could be like okay a little bit but nigga come on now from start to finish like is y'all serious like y'all really surprised that motherfuckers is out here on his neck his own hood on his motherfucking neck fuck y'all getting mad at us for making videos of this nigga we telling this nigga stop making videos shit motherfucker we helping this nigga out this nigga still getting on here just talking shit still doing it so how can a motherfucker even feel sorry for him for even a, a second when this nigga just getting out here, just still, you know what I'm saying? Talking about what he going to do to a motherfucker. 
Like, come on now, man. Y'all can't get mad at a motherfucker about that. And he can't get mad at his homeboys for calling out what it is. The nigga even admitted he didn't do his what he was supposed to do. So if he admitting it, he know he didn't go in there and do what he was supposed to do. Why the fuck are y'all getting mad at people who calling this shit out? What? That don't even make no motherfucking sense.